Hello everyone, my name is Sean Mancini and today we're going over how to configure NetFlow on your Cisco device and output the information to a NetFlow application on our server. What is NetFlow? NetFlow is uh, a tool that will allow us to monitor uh, the traffic coming in and out of our network on a detailed level. So what domains we are going out, um, what traffic. So this can be used for traffic analysis. Um, it can be used for traffic management and as well as security obviously because we can see what domains are going in and out and uh, any unauthorized activity so let's uh, so th this this tool is very useful now you also find this functionality in your firewall or uh, uh, network management tool uh, sorry network management appliance um, but this this tool can be running in the back It's kind of like a, a value-added feature because it's built into your Cisco IOS device so let's get started now the applicate the front-end GUI application that I use is made by SolarWinds it's available at downloads.solarwinds.com it's a free application for um, for just basic functionality so this would be something in your lab <coughs> Um, so we'll just you download the it says free trial <coughs> uh, because it will be the fully functional version for 30 days then after that um, it reduces you to 60 minutes uh, so only one hour of capture now there are some other free open source um, open source ones but you have to run Linux to uh, to do it I'm not familiar with any Windows version but if you do know of one, please leave a comment so I can uh, include that in in some documentation or on on my blog. Okay, so <clears throat> once you download the application, it's very very simple and so it's pretty much just next 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 install, and uh, Windows will come up allowing uh, asking to allow the the port through the firewall. Now um, this application. Uh, resides on port 2055 by default okay so right now you'll see that uh, it's not picking up any device okay so um, we'll just get started now I'm going to show you the basic in uh, the basic functionality and just to get it working uh, NetFlow can be used for uh, for many things like I said and uh, there's many other configuration options you know you can use SNMP uh, configure SNMP traps on uh, and uh, Netflow will pick it up there's a lot more um, detail but we're just going to do the basic fundamentals about how to get it working <coughs> so I'm just gonna log into my router here Okay, so you have to get into configuration mode um, to global config uh, to do all these commands. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into uh, the device that we want to monitor the outgoing traffic. So in my case, on my test router, the outgoing traffic is on uh, F0 slash 0 and we're going to do IP flow egress oh okay and that's for the traffic going out of the network okay and uh, we want to monitor the traffic coming into our network so that would be my F0 slash 1 and we're going to do IP flow ingress for incoming traffic okay now we'll exit the configuration for the uh, the interface configuration mode and we're going to do IP flow okay and we'll look at the options here so we want to export our traffic 
Okay. And then we have other options here. So we can do the interface for the source address, the uh, the specify the version number. Okay. So we're going to do version five. Okay. And then you're going to do again IP flow export. And then you're going to do destination. And then the IP address of the server and the port number that it's going to be listening on. So in my case, my server is 192.168.1.2 and we're listening on port 2055. Okay, so pretty much that's it on the um, iOS configuration. And now let's look and see what our servers picked up. And you'll see that the application has now picked up my router and the interfaces, the, the two interfaces. Okay, you're gonna hit start net start flow capture. Okay, first you gotta select what interface you're uh, listening on. Now, um, in this case, the top one is the outgoing and the incoming. Now, if you had SNMP. Um, configured on this you'll actually see the port name so this will actually show fast Ethernet 0 and instead of 192.168.101 it will say router 1 or RTR 1 um, so that's the advantage of having SNMP set up so let's see what's going out of the network Just give it a little time for the refresh. And there we go. <coughs> we can, uh, you can see what information is going in and out of the network. Uh, so for instance, uh, you can see what protocols are being used on, t let's say, uh, TCP here. And uh, we can see uh, what ports are being used and where they're going uh, you know what what port is being used the most so if you see an abnormal port let's say uh, 999 and you have no traffic that's supposed to go out that port you have no applications that use that port it could be a potential security threat so we can see um, we can check into that you can see what endpoints are using what um, are using what uh, traffic or generating what traffic um, which is really cool so again this this tool uh, can be used uh, very uh, for very very detailed granular uh, analysis of your traffic for instance your, let's say SIP traffic if there's a SIP call you can see uh, how much bandwidth your SIP is using um, so again very very cool very essential part of uh, traffic analysis uh, and especially on a free application for your lab, 60, uh, you only get 60 minute uh, captures, but um, at least you have the basics of what this tool is and how, how it's valuable. Again, yet you'll find this on your uh, firewall or um, a pr application server, uh, sorry, um, like your application gateway, but uh, this is a built-in tool into the uh, Cisco IOS uh, family of routers, and um, and this is this is added functionality. So, if you have any questions or comments or any suggestions about any videos that you would like me to cover, just uh, leave me a comment, or you can visit my blog www.shawmancini.com. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up.